welcome back to my okay welcome back to my channel today I have my September favorites I am so happy September is over because the next three months are the absolute best months of the year October is a fantastic month because it is full of fall and just uh, fall and November is Thanksgiving which leads right up to Christmas so I am so excited for September to be over and it was actually a very uneventful month I wasn't even going to do a favorites video because I don't really have that much to talk about but um, I am starting my two a week upload so get excited on Thursdays and Sundays there is going to be a new video on this channel for a long time. Sometimes life gets in the way and I just really can't do anything about it, but I am going to try my absolute hardest to always have a video to you guys on Thursdays and on Sundays. Also, if you guys did not know, it is Vlogtober on my other channel, Talkin' Tori. I am vlogging every single day in the month of October to kick off the best time of the year, taking a break in November and then starting right back up in December for Vlogmas. So I'm really, really excited about that. Go ahead and check it out. I have a blast doing daily vlogs. I think they are so much fun and I know that you guys also enjoy them too. It's a lot of work but I'm trying my best to give you guys a new piece of content every single day. So this month I don't have that many beauty favorites because I started school August 31st. So that's kind of like in September. It's actually in August but I started school in September we'll say and that has been great but it's also been really difficult getting back into the swing of things because I haven't really been doing it since March of last year so I've had a pretty long break since doing any sort of high school work so I have been waking up really late and not wearing much makeup and then on the weekends what have I been doing on the weekends in September I don't really know I guess my first favorite for this month has to be my website I launched my website on September 1st and I have been absolutely loving writing blog posts, but I'm really trying my absolute hardest to give you guys content. Um, I am the writer of the website. There's no one else providing that content for you other than me. I'm really proud of it, and I hope you guys are loving it just as much as I am. If you didn't know I have a website, I have a website, so I'm gonna have it linked down below. I'm really just like a hub of all things Tory, all things beauty, all things quirky, all things teenager, all things fun on that website so go ahead and give it a give it a look and also if you guys want to subscribe to the mailing list on it you totally can so enough about my website let's get on to the beauty favorites i only have four this month because like i said i've been really lazy getting back into the swing of things so i haven't really been trying out new makeup i haven't really been doing like a full face of makeup so my first favorite is the covergirl ready set gorgeous foundation i discovered this in Playlist DC, which is in Labor Day weekend of September. Um, I was in my friend Kenzie and Molly's room, and Molly's face looked like an angel sculpted it. And I was like, what foundation are you wearing? I was expecting her to be like, oh no, this is my natural skin. Or something like, you know, really, really expensive, really high end that I'd have to, you know, really consider getting. And then she said, it's CoverGirl, right? It's that gorgeous. I was like, you're kidding. I literally went to Rite Aid the next day in DC, picked it up, and I have been loving it. So many people compliment me with this foundation. Like, strangers will compliment me on a foundation. Like, that's how you know it's good. So many people love it. My friend Katie was like, hey, what foundation should I wear? I was like, this one. She went out and bought it. She texted me two days ago. I was like, I'm obsessed. Like, it's literally so amazing. And like, I don't know what's so good about it. I think the thing is it just looks like skin. It's so, it doesn't, okay, here's the thing. It looks like skin, but it doesn't. It just looks like airbrush skin, but when you look at it, it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation. It seriously just looks like your skin is perfect. I will apply it with a beauty blender. I'll apply, apply it with a dry brush. I'll spray my brush with Fix Plus and then apply it. Like It literally works with every single form of application and it looks flawless. They have a great color range from pinks to yellows to neutrals. So it's really, really awesome. I'm in the shade 120 if anyone is wondering, nude beige. 
Um, I'm just absolutely addicted to this foundation and I cannot get enough. So I also talked about in a previous tutorial that I did recently switch up my eyebrow tune to a darker color. And this is in the shade Ash Brown. It's the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ash Brown. I should have said that. Um, I used to use like a more chocolatey brown. I think it was like dark brown or something. And you know, it was good, it did the job. But this is a nice shade because it's very rich and dark and ashy and like an off black, still brown kind of look. I always try and you know, use pencils and gels and anything else other than dip brow. And I'm just like, why did I do this? And I end up covering up my entire eyebrow with dip brow again to fix the badness of the pencil. So I just love my dip brow stays on all day. I don't need to set it. It's just ah, dip brow. Um, I this isn't a favorite because you know it's, I'm getting this the last day of September. But I just got eyelash extensions today and. I'm obsessed with them so far. Like I said, I've been really lazy for school and I went there without any makeup on and I felt gorgeous afterwards because I had like eyelashes on and they just look really natural. I was scared that they would look too big and like bad lash application, but they don't look like that at all. They look super, super natural and I'm not wearing any mascara right now and like I feel great. I love how it looks. So I'm really happy with them. They're not a favorite. I just want to tell you guys that I have lash extensions. So in future videos, if like I don't put on mascara or if I don't talk about curling my eyelashes, know that it's because I have lash extensions. It's, I've, I've been wanting them for a while, so I finally went out and got them. So if you guys don't like eyelash extensions, don't get them. You don't need to brain on my parade just because you don't like them. Moving on, my next favorite, I guess I'll stay in the beauty range before I go on to the random range. This, I have two face masks. These are the last beauty favorites. I have two face masks. Um, these are each, I think, like $4, $5 tops. So this one is, they're by the same brand, the Freeman brand. I don't know, they're at Ulta. And I wanted a blue one and a charcoal black one. So that's what I got. This one is the Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. And then this one is the Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. I don't even think these masks do that much. I just like the colors of them. I like how my skin feels after them. They just feel um, really cleaned out. My other favorite mask I ran out of, um, but it's the Lush Cosmetic Warrior. I don't have the bottle to show you guys or like the little container to show you, but my mom and I are really, really hooked on it. It literally makes your skin look like you got a facelift in a face mask. Like, I don't understand how it works, but like, I put it on and my skin is glowing. It's radiant. It's gorgeous. Like, it is so beautiful. But like, my mom uses it and her face looks like she got a facelift. Like, it looks tight. It's radiant, it's glowing, it's just absolutely stunning. It's the best face mask in the entire world. My mom and I swear by it. Like we will literally carry that face mask to our graves. We love that one. Let's talk about random favorites. Obviously, this is a candle. The pumpkin, apple pumpkin pancakes by Bath and Body Works. Definitely my favorite. I've been lighting it up in the studio lighting it up in the studio. I have been lighting this in the studio every single time I'm in here. I saw the visit two weeks ago. I am still messed up from it. My other favorite this month has been tea. Um, so in here I just have all of my tea bags. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got this, I got it at Home Goods and it was $10. So it's really cute. I just keep it on this table over here that has my electric tea kettle that I got at Ralph's for about $20 and this tea thing for $10. Hey. Oh my God, candy corn. My mom, like starting in September, decides that that's the time for candy corn. So I have been eating candy corn non-stop. Oh my gosh. I said in my last favorites video that I was like obsessed with Casey Neistat. 
I still am. It's in full effect. Like, he is quite possibly, he is my absolute favorite human in the entire world. Going along with motivational vlogs, I really have been liking Cambria Joy lately. Um, her daily vlogs are really, really inspiring and really motivational to health and to fitness, which I've also been doing a lot of this month. Hello? Hi, how are you? Okay, sorry, I just had to answer that real quick. I've been applying to colleges a lot this month. Um, I think I've applied to four, and I intend to apply to like way more than I'm supposed to. I think you're only supposed to apply to like 10 schools, but I literally, I like don't think I'm gonna get into any schools. So I'm freaking out, so I'm applying to like 12 schools. Play this live this month, that was awesome. I got to meet you guys. You guys wrote me so many notes, it was so sweet. I have them in my room and whenever I'm like feeling sad or down or I just miss you guys or I'm feeling really grateful, I just go back and read those notes and they like, they really, really do mean a lot to me and hold them very dear to my heart. So I love you guys for that. Thank you. I get like weird when it comes to like sentimental things. Like I'm not good at being sentimental and like thanking people and saying that I love them. It's like... So that's a flaw of mine. My favorite band ever, Blood Cultures, um, on Spotify had like 800 followers. And then they deleted their best song in my opinion. And then I got a notification one day that they uploaded new music, which they haven't done in over two years. So they put up a new soundtrack and it did not disappoint me at all. It's called Scenes from a Midnight Movie. I'm gonna have it linked down below. It is so good. All right, my mouth is getting dry, which means that I've talked too long, much and long. I've talked too long. So I'm gonna go. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me over the years. Um, it really means the absolute world to me and the fact that our family is growing so fast and to such a big size really just warms my heart and you know it kind of makes me scared because all these like new people are coming into our family but it's making me so happy because everyone is just so nice and we really just created an amazing community here and that's exactly what I wanted on YouTube was you know to share my passion with as many people as I could and I'm just so happy that you guys all appreciate what I do and we're all supportive of each other and there aren't haters on this channel and it just really really warms my heart my whole heart that you guys are so sweet and so supportive and so nice and i just am so thankful for each and every one of you so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i really do mean that and in october i intend to completely 110 percent involve myself and invest myself in just youtube um I want to put out as much content as I can, as much great content as I can, and just really give you guys everything you guys deserve, which is two-week videos, uploads every day on my second channel, amazing content here, amazing blog posts, a good Instagram theme. Just I just want to give you guys everything you guys deserve. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you aren't if you're watching this and you're not part of the family that I was talking about, be sure to join it because I'd love to have you on this journey with me and I think that it would be, you'd be a great addition to our little fam, so hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, thanks again so much. And I'll talk to you guys on Thursday. Bye.